So I was originally going to film from the top top, but I'm not going to cap from the nights before the procedure and the morning of the procedure. I barely could sleep. I was freaking the fuck out and I thought I was going to chicken out and not do it. So that's why I wasn't filming because to be honest, I was watching every video on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram that I could find on veneers because I was scared. Like, to be honest, I actually really like my teeth. I liked the way they were. I just did not like my gap. And so, I haven't closed it. These are temps, and I'm gonna be going back in two weeks to get the actual porcelain veneers. And I'm gonna film from here on out until that process. But I am already really freaking happy. I hope the porcelain looks just like how the temporaries look. She did such a good job, like the gum contouring. Still a little swollen. And to be honest, um, she said she's the one that told me to leave my bottom teeth alone. I, I do think I'm going to end up doing my bottoms eventually. Probably not anytime like really soon. But I probably sound crazy talking because I have to get used to this too. But my gap is gone. I know my family members, they, they like my teeth now. But they've all been like, oh my god, the gap. Like I really, I guess it's a really big characteristic for me. But I feel like a grown ass woman now. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep filming basically like the process, hopefully, God forbid, I don't think I will because I took, I take pretty good care of my teeth. I won't have any issues with the temporaries for the next two weeks, but in two weeks I'll be going back to the office and to be honest, the whole process was so simple. Like my doctor, which is Carrie Hill, my good sis took care of me from the consult to the first. I mean to the second appointment and even just texting me after my second appointment like letting me know what to do like checking in on me whatever but for the first console I actually originally went in to get Invisalign and then um, I, I got to talking and I kind of just was like uh like I really do want to like get veneers and she talked me into it and I'm so happy because I don't care if I have to like I was explaining this on live I don't care if I have to redo these in 10 15 20 years because i plan on having a lot more money than i have now so that let's just get that straight money is not going to be a problem for me in the future but um i truly am so happy that i went with her and then on the day of the actual surgery for the temps i was also freaking out because i've never been sedated before i've never like been through any kind of surgery or anything but I cried, I bawled my eyes out. I'm gonna put a little clip in right here um, for my close friends, but I was crying because I was like, wait, I like my teeth, I like my teeth. Um, she gave me the medication after I talked to, um, wow, I can't even talk. She gave me the medication after I talked to her and then also the, um, the I forget what they're called, but basically the dentist that actually creates the, the literal porcelain veneers, porcelain, porcelain veneers. He came in, um, he didn't really say too much, but we got to pick the color. I didn't pick the whitest white white because I don't want to like look crazy, but sh I did pick the second whitest white because my teeth are pretty white already. We didn't even white in my bottom teeth. Like, so when I go back, I must be white white. <laughs> but yes, as far as like what else happened on the second visit, oh my God, they had me wear a diaper, even though they didn't like force me, but they were like, sometimes when people are sedated you know they might have a little accident i'll like give me a fucking diaper because i'll be damned but no accidents it was about a five hour long process i went in they gave me the medication after we talked and apparently it's a sedative where you're actually still awake but i like i remember slightly like her being like do this or like something and i really could not fucking remember like anything else like i don't know if i was awake if i was asleep i don't know but I didn't even feel any pain like I really when I even when just the medicine wore off I did not feel like crazy pain it was of course sore my top lip was swollen because she contoured my gums but other than that I was in that bitch like my shiny teeth did me <laughs> I'm mad happy y'all so update I have some after getting my teeth done in like two weeks I have two videos to film and I'm just hoping that I'm straight by then, like, I was straight immediately after doing this, so I just hope it's the same. But, yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me on the actual third appointment when we go and get the porcelain.
Good morning, you guys. It is the day. It is the day that I get my teeth finished. Um, just getting myself together. But yeah, basically, this is day two, part two of the whole process. It's been two weeks. And I've gotten used to having my teeth fixed, you know? But now, you know, they called me yesterday. And they're like, oh, if you love the temps, you're going to love the porcelain, like the permanents. They came in. Everything's perfect. Um, the only thing that annoyed me, I'm not going to lie, is that she did call asking, did I want to be sedated? I said, yeah, because I was sedated the first time. Well, it's going to be an extra fee. I said, y'all, the fuck is are pricey? Like, this is 34K that I've spent. And when I was told in the beginning that they didn't take any finance plans and everything had to be paid up front, I'm assuming that the whole process was taken care of when I handed that money over, right? They also proceeded to say, hey, um, we actually counted and you only gave us 32 and it was 34. Uh-uh-uh. Because if I had to pay everything up front, y'all counted the money, you handed me change back. Whose fault is it two weeks later now that you're saying that you're missing money? That is not my problem. So, kindly they called me back, said, you know what? The, the sedation is on us and, you know, as for the miscount, it could have been a mistake, so you're all set. Slightly annoying because I was like, y'all are not about to play with me when you're halfway through the process with me. But I really appreciate Carrie Hill for being understanding and, you know, that's a lot of money already. So, you know, just I've already been, my man's already been telling me, like, you spent a lot of money for this and I only did the top. So, yeah. But other than that, I'm excited for the process. I'm excited to see how everything comes out. I am not going to bring my camera in there because I just personally don't like bringing a big ass camera around places and, and I'm not the best at vlogging with that until I get a smaller camera. And I'm also going to be like off my shit so you know I'm just going to try and keep it simple. But after I will come and show you guys the final results and I will tell you guys you know everything that goes on. Um, they have to put on a fucking diaper because when you get sedated, you might shit yourself. Just had to show this. Just for shit to get this. My lips are still swollen as fuck. These came out better than I expected. My girl gave me some flowers. Like, she's a vibe. But, I love them. This process was a little more painful, even though, like, it's just the after effect. Like, I, um, I woke up and I kind of was waking up to them, like, still, like, cleaning everything up. And then I also whitened. I took a couple videos before I went into the actual office so you guys can like, you know, just catch the whole vibe. But this is how they came out and I'm super happy. I'm gonna go back next week for a checkup to make sure that everything is like lined up properly. Um, they wanna check and make sure that the bite line is good, like everything falls where it's supposed to fall. But I give it a 10 out of 10. I'm very pleased. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.